Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Playing some Ymir today. I'm going to go ahead and lock in, showing you guys the uh, picks and bans. It was highly requested. You guys wanted to see the picks and bans. And uh, by the way, full disclosure on that, I will say, like, later in the bans, like, the fifth or sixth ban that I do usually isn't always, like, that tactical. Sometimes, like, my opponent bans the character I want to ban, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to ban this dude because they're annoying. Sorry, I had to cough right there. So, we're going to be going... Full power Ymir versus a Vamana, apparently. That's not a good time. Like, this is this is not a good time at all, actually. Uh, because he can kind of just walk through my wall, and he's a warrior that's hard to kill. And, like, yeah, he's a warrior. I don't know if I mentioned that. So, we'll see. We'll see if we can survive. If this guy's not the best, best of players, then we should be okay. But then again, does it really require, like, a, a good player to just build damage and defense and then ult and auto attack you to death? Like, like, if I was going to build defense, this would be a much more competitive matchup. But since I'm going full damage... But since I'm going full damage, he can kind of just press 4 and kill me. So I'm not saying in general, you know, Vamana would just press 4 and kill me. Like, specifically because I'm not going any defense. Although, he might just press 4 and kill me either way. <laughs> but we'll see. It all just depends on how, how good he is, I suppose. Bonk. Bonk. You know, it's weird. Ymir's auto attacks do literally a million damage, but the clear still doesn't feel fast. That's that's just, like, in my head, though, I know. Like, he definitely has fast clear, but it just doesn't feel fast. Oh, no. Oh, wait, he actually got hit by that. We almost killed him on the first wave, bro. No way. Ymir does a ton of damage. And one thing I was sad about with this... Oh, wait, am I lagging? I think I'm like, I don't know. Either way, one thing I was sad about when I was actually about to record this video is I wanted to go, I wanted to go full tank, uh, or not full tank, full damage Ymir, obviously, but I wanted to go Rangdas with it. Like, that would be so much better. But, because I, I realized starters are banned, but I didn't, it didn't really click in my head that uh, <clears throat> Rangdas is a starter, because, you know, it wasn't for the longest time. Also, another thing. They need to remove this starter section. I don't know if that's like something they're even capable of doing for this specific mode. But I click on the starter item section in the store literally every game. Literally every single game. Monk. I gotta say, Ymir's a satisfying character to play. Like, in general. But, especially when you build him damage. Not just because big damage, whatever. Like, I don't know, it just feels nice being able to clear and stuff. But maybe that's just my support, like, bias, because I only play this character in support, like, in Conquest or in Joust, uh, Tanky Ymir. And I, like, max the freeze of the wall first, yada, yada, yada. So I'm not used to this character actually being able to, like, clear waves by himself quickly and, like, farm efficiently. It feels like a whole new, whole new ball game because I have not played Damage Ymir that much. Maybe, I've only played him in Duel probably, like... I'm totally guessing, honestly, but I probably played this character less than 10 times in Duel. Probably, maybe even less than 5 times. They definitely are all dono requests from Scream. Oh no. Oh, that's a lot of damage, buddy. That is a lot of damage. You're gonna need defense. That is a lot of damage. Holy smokes. I haven't actually planned out my build for what I'm gonna go this game. Obviously full damage, but what else, right? Uh, I'm gonna go Polly and Typhons. Those are what's obvious to me. Oh, I shouldn't have taken this. I, I think blue or speed, like either one would have been better than this. I'm gonna go Polly and Typhons. Those are three items right there for my triple life steal. We don't need any more life steal than that. Uh, Ob Shard. That's four items. Uh, we're gonna need to anti-heal, so do, I would say Toxic Blade on Ymir, but I'm kind of going full, like, power. Full power, not just full damage. Full power, specifically. So, um, I guess we'll go Divine instead. This will help us out with some mana, hopefully, in the long run. It's kind of weird, I, I just noticed the other day, like, I guess I knew, but I never really thought about it. A, a lot of these lifestyle items that I'm going to be building this game have mana. Bancroft has mana, Typhon has mana, Polly has mana. Not all of them, not all the lifesteal items, but the ones that, like, I think come natural to a lot of characters in Duel. They all have, uh, they all have lifesteal. I mean, not lifesteal, mana. 
Oh, I can't take that. I really wanted that. I should have just waited, honestly. I hate waiting for the buffs, like waiting for my buff to fall away. Because I like to be efficient with my XP. Oh, I'm not efficient with my gold because I didn't clear this wave correctly. Oh, this is a dangerous spot for you to be in, little guy. Okay. Maybe we can make him panic ult. Maybe he'll panic ult. Dang it, dude. Dang it. That's another thing. Vamana's like generally a relatively fast character. I wonder if I'm even gonna be able to land abilities on this guy, bro. No way. If he just stands close to me and runs around, like he's gonna get more movement speed items too as the game progresses. I can't even wall my feet. Like I would wall right here, but Vamana can walk through them, so. I might just have to go, like, Aegis or something. Like, I'm gonna need to be able to survive his wall. I mean, his ult damage late. I don't know what's up with this. I have misspoke, like, eight times in this video. And this isn't even my first video I'm recording today, by the way. Like, I'm I'm relatively warmed up. And I'm still, like, I just cannot function right now. I don't know. <clears> hmm. <throat> I don't really have mana. It seems to be a reoccurring problem. See if I took the blue buff, or the speed buff, <laughs> just because that's just good in general, but if I took the blue buff, I would have mana here. I'm just gonna like, auto attack these guys, and then run to the run to that and hope that those guys die. Even if they don't, this is fine. We got at least one of those archers over there. We're not gonna pick this up this time, because we're geniuses. I'm gonna buy the poly. Mm, yeah, we'll just go straight into this. We need to like figure out how to survive with just damage, and I think it's just like life steal and good jukes and good relics. Like we go shell Aegis or something. Or alternative theory, we go Ankh and we try to kill him, and we we actually box him in his ult. Hmm. Then we'd have to go attack speed. And attack speed is not necessarily full power. I mean, I guess it is by definition. All I have to do is buy six power items. But, you know, it's... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go attack speed. Because now that I think about it, if I really was trying to do full power, like the maximum damage you can build, I would have to go to the fucking warlocks and stuff like that, so... And I, I already didn't go those items, so... This isn't... 100% as much power as you can build, but it's full power Ymir. No defense, damage items, that's the key. Bonk. And by the way guys, I want to start, I almost forgot, I want to start doing more like meme content. I want to do tryhard content, I want to do meme content. I want to do it all. So what I'm saying is, if you guys have any meme -y ideas you want to you wanna let me know, just comment it down below, like just literally comment something like, Yo, Jesse, go, uh, go full movement speed Mercury, or, uh, you know, just something simple, keep it simple, and, uh, you know, I'll d I read all of the comments, I really do, I genuinely do, because we don't have that many, so there's really no excuse for me to not read them, I read all of the comments, guys, so just give me your suggestions, no promises that I'll do them, of course, but, um, there's a decent chance, if, if it's a decent idea, I'll probably do it. I walled his dash. But you know, if the idea is really stupid, like, <laughs> I'm gonna be. I probably won't do it. Like, I don't know, like, like for example, going absolute 100% defense on Sylvanas. Like, I'm not saying I wouldn't do something like that, because maybe I would. But it's definitely not something that, like, I'm excited to do, because it's not something I would put on my. Uh, very high up on my to do list. For the simple fact that, um, yeah, that sounds horrible. Like, how do you even win that game? I would have to go Mystical Mail. I would have to go Mystical Mail and hope that they just get bored enough to surrender, right? Which is just not going to happen, so. So ideas like that may be kind of funny and wacky or whatever, but realistically it's just going to be horrible to record and horrible to watch. And <laughs> so ideas like that would probably get put on the back burner, but. I 
I don't know if I want to go the Yonk strategy yet and try to actually burn him when he ults, or I want to just try to survive it. I honestly think my best bet is to just survive it. So maybe I just go Aegis. I'm going to try to freeze him after this. He's going to deform soon. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty troll. He has beads too, right? Like, I think I've gotten his beads once this game, I think, but that was a while ago, I feel like. We've just been kind of farming. Maybe this guy's going to get impatient and just start diving. Like, the whole game. I mean, obviously he did right there, but... You know, a lot of the times when people make a mistake that big, they kind of just, uh... They kind of just give up after, like, to give that strategy up. So, like, is... Aegis really my best shot. I think it is because like some people may suggest sprint or even like a bracer just movement speed right and movement speeds great and all but it realistically if this guy goes hastened and like he doesn't even have to go another movement speed item but say he goes double movement speed items and sprint or whatever I mean he could do it with just hastened but the point is is if he gets something to stick to me that little bit of movement speed is not going to make up for it it's not it is not going to get me away from him unless he doesn't build those items which there's no reason oh what the dude i don't understand i don't understand the dual players sometimes man <clears throat> like this isn't like 3 a.m that i'm queuing guys like th this is 2 50 p.m by the way i'm queuing at prime time uh prime time for na and, I don't know, I'm just getting a guy who just ults and then autos the wave, I don't know. Maybe he's just frustrated at this point. Big damage. Wall him? Dude, okay, I guess that is kind of a giant gap. <laughs> I was gonna complain, like, how does he fit through that? But that's kind of giant. <laughs> What else are we going to build? Maybe just Divine. Uh, Divine Obshard, I think, is locked in for us. That's what we got to get, Divine Obshard. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go... Oh, I didn't mean to use my two. I'm not going to go Divine just yet, because... Is Divine really locked in for us, if I think about it? Because that's not the highest damage ever, and I feel like I don't even care about his ult healing if I'm not going to go Ankh and try to, like you know, kill him during his ult. Because realistically, I'm not going to be hitting him. And yeah, it's going to be nice for to have anti-heal on him right before he goes up, so he doesn't heal a little bit more, especially if he's diving me. But, like, is it even that good? Like, I feel like I should just go full damage damage. Like, real damage. Like, Rod to Hootie. Like, what would I replace it for? I'm probably going to go Rod either way. Oh, no. He got... The... Wait, what? I can get his Phoenix now. Hold up. Can I? Can I? I mean, I messed it up. Maybe I just start backdooring him, dude. <laughs> Is that the way? <laughs> Is that the way? I gotta, like, get, get him off my tower. Well, I guess I don't have to, because it's not my phoenix. It's just a little, little tower. So it's not that big of a deal, but... Okay, he's kind of just... He kind of just let me have this, huh? Oh, I don't have defense. I just remembered. So this thing does like a million damage to me. Dude, how do I how do I go about this? You know what? We'll go do more. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? This will give us some movement speed. It may not be enough movement speed to quite get us away from him when he's ulting in the late game, but generally throughout the game, it's going to be nice movement speed. If for nothing else, it's going to be nice going uh, from farm to farm. We have the speed buff. He does not. We have tier 2 doom orb. He does not. So we get away.
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of toxic, guys. That what I just did was like wrong on so many levels. No. No. Yes. <laughs> Dude, is that Gabe? Is that actually Gabe? No way. No way. Is that actually Gabe? I feel like this is only a 14 minute game, bro. Is Ymir just that tough? Not like matchup wise, because he should be winning this. This is, he's obviously playing this wrong. I mean, I just mean like damage wise. Look at this. Di <laughs> okay, one fight. I'll give him one fight. It's only 14 minutes. Come on. We'll give him one fight. He, you're not getting a speed buff in the fight, though. I refuse. Uh, I need. I need to. I need the crutch to run away from you. But, bro, I swear, I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry, I was tapping out to... Uh, I was making sure it was what time I thought it was. Man, it's literally 2.55 p.m. Wait, is it a school day? I don't even know. Yeah, it's Friday, I guess. Is that what it is, bro? All the, all the kids are in school? Is all, all the, the gamer boys? All I know is I'm against the crit Vamana right now. Which, actually, crit's not the worst strategy. Oh my, what, bro? Like, how is that gonna work? How? <clears throat> bait, bait wall, obviously. Oh my, look at my damage! Yo, what? That's a warrior with a defense item, by the way. That's a warrior with a defense item, by the way. What the crap? <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's going on today. Uh, or maybe it's not today. Maybe Duel's just, like, extra dead right now. I don't know. What's up with the opponents? Uh, I've recorded two videos today. And, I, I don't know. The people I got today was just... Uh, I don't know. I I've played, like, three or four games... And it's, I'm not going to say they're bad players, it's just these are not good dual players. Most certainly they are not d good dual players. I don't know what's happening today. You guys told me that you were okay. You guys told me that you were okay with whatever kind of content. Um, if you guys do decide to take that back, maybe after seeing, <laughs> after seeing the videos from today, maybe, uh, Maybe we uh, take back that decision to just upload whatever. But for the most part, I'm following you guys' advice. I'm trying to uh, not take the whole, like, you have to get a good game. And good game, I mean, like, competitive game in order to upload it on YouTube. The whole, po the whole point of this video was just to be Mimi and build full damage Ymir and show you guys how much damage he can do. Uh, but yeah, I, I have to admit, that, that game was a little bit, um... <laughs> that game was a little bit uh weird to say the least i appreciate you guys do i appreciate you guys for watching it does mean a lot to me and yeah i don't know i don't know let me know let me know what you guys think of the content i appreciate you guys watching i'll see you guys in the next one have a good day Bye bye